Good morning, traders, and welcome to the Bookmap Advanced Education. This is the live trading webinar. Uh, today we have Jay Trader. He's a stocks trader, uh, and um, he'll come on uh, a little bit later here. Uh, usually he comes into the room um, about uh, 15 minutes uh, after 10 Eastern time. Uh, good morning, Tom, David, Jerry. Uh, let's see here. Yep, uh, uh, happy holidays, everybody. Um, so good morning, Felipe. Um, yeah, okay, and uh, yeah, Tom, still following up with you on some uh, some emails there. Uh, all right, so um, uh, anyway, let's uh, continue on here before uh, jo uh, keep an eye out for Joseph um, as he, uh, when he enters the room here. Uh, so uh, I can uh, monitor that and uh, hold on just a moment here. Yeah, this should work. All right. Um, okay, so Joseph, if you're in here already, just uh, uh, let me know in the questions and uh, I can uh, give you the presentation. Um, all right, so uh, any, anyway, what this is all about here, uh, and you know, welcome uh, anyone who's a guest here uh, today. Uh, so what we're, this is the book map education. Uh, it is um, uh, part of the, Global Plus subscription moving forward into uh, 2021. Uh, and uh, uh, what we do is uh, we go through the um, uh, live trading uh, from uh, Joseph here on Wednesdays and then on Thursdays, Scott Pulsini, who's a, uh, a futures trader. Uh, and then other days of the week, we have an advanced webinar every day of the week. Uh, the other three days, uh, we go through uh, advanced analysis and it is forward looking. It is not hindsight education. We, we see some seen some really good moves uh, this week, uh, some higher time frame and lower time frame moves. Uh, and uh, we read the order flow uh, and we read the current market uh, and then we give insight to where it's gonna go, okay? So you can apply what you've learned from our educational course that's online. Uh, and then uh, you, you now you have the live trading as well. So you can learn about uh, trade optimization uh, and trade management here, not just setups, not just order flow and setups. We already do that. Uh, you're gonna see how J Trader or Scott trades uh, specifically as well, uh, their trading plan, okay? Uh, but um, uh, anyway, so it's a, a rather complete education uh, that you get. And um, uh, in fact, uh, those of you who are new in here, um, well, let me, uh, yeah, let me continue on. And I just want to show you uh, there is a deal on Bookmap for first time users. Okay. A little bit about Jay Trader. Uh, for those of you new in here, um, he's he's been with us uh, for a number of years now. Uh, and uh, he he's has a tremendous amount of experience trading uh, since he was 18 years old. Uh, European um, equities and uh, uh, warrants, covered warrants, uh, similar to options, uh, trading a lot of volume. Uh, uh, always has, and uh, you know, a lar large trader here. He focuses on uh, order flow and scalping, uh, mainly U.S. Uh, uh, equities now, uh, and option and options. And he is the uh, the main trader at his small cap room. Uh, the um, information here for uh, for Joseph, uh, I'll put this into the chat. So if you want to reach out to him, uh, you can. Uh, and then I need to go through the disclosures here, the general disclosure and risk disclosure. Uh, so uh, everyone knows what they're getting into uh, in this webinar here. The general disclosure, all bookmap limited materials, information, and presentations are for educational purposes only and should not be considered specific investment advice nor recommendations. Live trading is in simulation, demo, paper trading mode, and strictly for educational purposes. Live trading executed in simulation cannot accurately represent realistic trading performance. Okay. Risk disclosure, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. An investor could potentially lose all or more than the initial investment. Risk capital is money that can be lost without jeopardizing one's financial security nor lifestyle. Only risk capital should be used for trading and only those with sufficient risk capital should consider trading. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Just a note on this, uh, the live trading execution, uh, executing a simulation cannot accurately represent realistic trading performance. Um, our simulator is, uh, is, is pretty good. Uh, it uh, puts you in the queue. Uh, however, you know, any, any order uh, can affect the market, right? So uh, therefore, 
that is not happening when it's in sim. Okay, but uh, uh, we do we do try to uh, represent this as accurately as possible in the bookmap software, so that uh, when you take a trade in the live market in simulation, uh, you are in the queue. So uh, uh, that uh, is respected. Uh, so you might not get filled in certain areas, even in simulation. Okay, so just uh, need to let you know about that. Um, uh, yeah, uh, John, we'll take a look at the ES here. Uh, that's a, what, my, what we're going to do before JTrader gets on. Uh, I do want to show you, though, uh, for those of you who are uh, new to Bookmap, uh, there is a special here, okay, from uh, our Twitter account. You can see right here. So go to our Twitter uh, page. I, I just retweeted it here. I put it at the top of the list here uh, so you guys can see this. Okay, it's... Um, uh, click on the link here if you like, uh, and uh, you're going to get 50% off of uh, Global and Global Plus for the first month. First month only. All right, uh, and uh, you can see the also here on the pricing on our on our website. Okay, the Christmas uh, discount here. Okay, so it's only for the monthly options here, Global and Global Plus. Okay, uh, you can see the prices listed down here. All right, so needed to mention that. Uh, yeah, let's take a look at the ES. Uh, and uh, let me tone down this uh, absorption indicator. I was looking at it pre-market. We'll have to definitely bump that up. Boy, we can even go to 220, I think. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right. All right, so uh, yeah, taking a look at the ES here. Um, on the higher time frame chart, this is a breakout, okay? Um, and, uh, you know, we can take a look at a quick look at a candlestick chart. In fact, uh, I wanted to show this to you guys, like a one hour chart here, as you can see, uh, look at the big drop here. Okay. Now what we're going to go over is the order flow on this one hour chart. And we're going to apply the same tactics that we do on the low time frames to this higher time frame. So what we are doing is you can see this dramatic drop down below the lows here. Uh, and then the move right back up to where, where it dropped from. Okay. Now, obviously, there's going to be a point of control in this little area here in your um, uh, in your profile as well. So, and where is that? It's probably going to be around this 08, 07 area. I don't know if you guys uh, want to give me more update on that, um, but I imagine it's probably going to be around there uh, somewhere. Uh, so, well, let's see if we can get enough buyers here to break the, the high from the last few days here. As you can see, it keeps on touching it here up at uh, 94 and looking for it to trade up to the figure at least uh, 3,700 uh, and maybe you can get up to about 3,710 uh, or so. All right. So uh, uh, good morning, Joseph. So you are in here. Okay. Uh, excellent. Um, and uh, here we are. Well, here's the open and just want to cover this with you guys. Uh, longer term liquidity up here. Okay. And we're trading right up into it. All right. So we're looking for some follow through here. Uh, and uh, I'm going to leave it at that because uh, uh, we got Joseph here. So let me um, uh, uh, get a hold of him and give him the presentation here. And where are you? Hold on a minute. There you are. Good morning, Bruce and everybody. Good morning, Joseph. How are you? Uh, fine, thank you. Just watching Tesla this morning and one uh, small cap stock. Okay, uh, excellent. So uh, let me give you the presentation here so you can take it away. Okay, let me show my screen. All right, you should be able to, to see the screen, uh, Bruce, correct? Yes, yes. Okay, so uh, before starting with uh, uh, today uh, trading, um, just want to point out Tesla. So each time we have a big pullback Tesla, uh, this stock tends to have uh, dips and then right away uh, a bounce for another entry. When I'm looking at Tesla or any kind of big cap, I start looking at one hour chart. And over here, you can see how many dips below these uh, levels, right? Uh, or levels, I mean the, the J lines, right? This is a 72.89. Uh, these numbers come from um, 
um, analyzing the Fibonacci code and there are expansion numbers uh, from the Fibonacci code. And each time I see the dip Absorption. below, each time I see these uh, numbers, I, uh, I start looking for dip too long. Uh, just one second over here, I'm gonna take off the alert uh, absorption. Let me see the alert over here. And an alert. Okay. Yeah, it says sound alert right there. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. And when we had the wash over here, this morning I was looking one, if we would have continued to the downside. And I had this level over here from the previous relative low, okay? So I was looking for a possible breakdown this morning of 620. We had target in room 621. And then I was looking for this uh, 613 breakdown. So the first uh, idea was to look for more unwind. The second was to look for a possible reversal. Uh, we took the, uh, the unwind. Uh, we basically... Uh, starting to uh, see a big soak over here. And I just want to uh, point out how Bookmap helped me on this. I'm going to show uh, even the trade that we took in the room. So you see over here, as I said last time to Bruce, uh, the soak or absorbing indicator that works on Tesla is for me set to 9999. Okay, so almost 10,000. I find that it works perfectly uh, for what I need. And you can see over here, we started, right? We start over here, we, pop, we popped into 635 level of liquidity. And then we started to have this reversal. When I say reversal, you know always that I mean the breakdown of this previous um, level of uh, support also open. So we can change the graphic style. All right, so this level over here. And then we had an unwind. Uh, exactly that level over here, for example, is the is the field that uh, I took, I covered, I reshorted the VWAP projection, I took the unwind over here, and then I recover before the uh, the reversals. So this is an important level. Always analyze the open level. Look if we have a resistance, and if we feel the open level, I like we take the short. Surely. This has to be confirmed by the tape over here. And if you see my times and sales, everything is filtered uh, 999. Okay, I always use the same uh, uh, the same numbers. I don't want to see the 100 uh, um, the 100 um, fields. I want to see more uh, important fields. So from 1,000 up, we started to unwind. We started to unwind. We started to unwind. And again, I start looking for when we have absorption. So you can see over here some absorption in the dip, uh, fill breakdown, second double bottom, and then we push all the way up. And from that moment, we had a reversal. So if we see now Tesla, we have a very strong tape. I was looking at tape in the last 15 minutes, right? So when I say tape, it means times and sales. And I like to see each dip if we had an absorption. So, just one second, I'm gonna uh, put this notification off over here. The sound message notification. Okay. And at this point, we've seen that uh, we found a 648 resistance. And right away, we had some little bit of absorption, okay? So dips over here were already buying for the 648 breakout, but we have a little bit more pullback. Right now, look with me. Again, where we are, we are exactly at this level, right? So look, traders over here. We are breaking that level of resistance. So for me, it's very important, this gray area. Because once we faded, we bounced back up. Once we faded, we bounced back up. Right now, what I'm looking, this seems a strong breakout. If we confirm and we can close this one hour bar above the hourly J-lines, then I will look for a reversal to the upside. Uh, always put your level of resistance. In this case, we have resistance over here, uh, more resistance over here. 
uh, more resistance over here. And I like to have these resistance levels, okay? I basically take the uh, most consecutive highs or lows. Getting back to the one minute, what we're doing. We're just right now below that level. So let's continue to watch together Tesla. At the same time, uh, we had a small cap stock, let's see. Uh, not a, um, a huge unwind. Uh, basically, uh, I'm short over here at 4.29. Uh, we had this dip. I covered exactly over here, half position, putting my stop break even right now and looking for a more possible unwind. And why I took the trade? Uh, you can see over here, for example, Bruce, this is just want to point out, this is one of the setup that me and Bruce already covered a couple of times in this uh, uh, webinar. So once you have that resistance over here, you can see breaks the 430, it's the resistance with liquidity. Right away, we push up, we have that fake breakout, we fail below, and you see these uh, dots over here, right? There are 20, 30K each one. They basically cannot push it back up again. Once you start seeing this red over here, I like to short this because this tells me weakness. We cannot push back up to the high and we have faders, all right? So even here, we took the, the backside. Uh, this is only on one broker, uh, backside, backside, and we cover over here partially. Um, what I'm looking right now are more possible fills above this area, otherwise holding my position. Uh, what I like to do as well, so I like to trace my support resistance over here. So this is just a, a pendant where you can see the, the breakdown. Then you see the soak over here. This worked marvelous, right? This absorption, right? This absorption over here, 53,000 happened just on this dip. And how I like to filter my, uh, my absorption indicator, generally 29,000. If something is super liquid, 45. If something is, I would say average is 29, if something is not liquid, then I would put something between 15 and 19K, all right? So this is for the small caps. Uh, much different than I said before when I, when I trade uh, Tesla or uh, Synops. Uh, we also had VVPR, but I missed the trade, so I'm not going to share it. Uh, all right, so let's continue to see the setup over here. It's a good moment for the market. Uh, high volume days, also near the holidays, uh, high liquidity, high volatility. And I saw a market, for example, in small caps where you have 100, 200 million volume, even more trading in a day. Pre-market with even 15, 20 million volume seems like common uh, nowadays. And this like four or five years ago was simply incredible and impossible. Uh, days like yesterday on Tesla, uh, where basically you just have to, to short or buy puts. Each time we have spikes over here, over here, all this here, over here, and again, over here to recycle, they're simply amazing. They're simply amazing. And this morning we're having this um, reversal right now, okay? So big dip, reversal. Tesla likes to do these big bumps and then uh, reversal the upside. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna see over here if we have a possible pattern to enter long. Remember, when you trade Tesla, try always to have yes, always follow yes or the cues as they give you a pretty good, uh, I would say, guide if you trade uh, the stock. So let's see, we had a reclaim over here, the 9MA falling. I'll be able to continue to learn me if you have. Um, yeah. I have another trader over here next to me looking also for patterns and setups. So I'm still looking for a possible over here scalp long right now. 
right? So we have the trend going up, we have the reversal. Tesla is simply above that hourly J line that we saw, right? This, um, I put it in gray over here. So you could have a curl up over here and more push to the upside. So I pulled also the web come up 645. You can see we have liquidity. Remove the liquidity over here. So reason to get over here on the bids. Some long looking to stop below 645. If we cannot have that push breakout even better to use this uh, 9MA as risk. You want to see momentum strong. Breaking that 646. Want to see more. Following the 646, sellers, this is a scalp, wide a scalp, curl 9MA, uptrend, pull back, strong tip up till now, 646 trying to hold, we need a 647 to sell a little bit, All right? So we can sell over here something on the ask for one buck plus, all right? So we got the pullback over here, 90 man. Now we're looking for that upside. 647, big soak, right? You can see over here the soak. So now you can risk break even using the 646 as a guide. Still the tape is green. You can see we have no big sellers over here. We have retailer sellers, but the, the big buyers are all over here, right? And this is getting refilled from 1,000 till uh, 6,000, 7,000 over here. So let's start, let's look for more push. Okay, sorry, I'm gonna I'm gonna put also that. 646 holding dip. Let's see for the push. Sorry, I'm gonna put this back up for you. Okay, tell me if you have another set over here. The first detaching. Yeah. And this could be another curl down. Yeah. So a little bit more. Okay, now we are looking for a break of the high of day. All right, so we can break the 648 and now we'll have target 640, 649 and 80. Just before the 650, you can see. So we're pretty good, the 90 May curl up, scalp long over here. We can trail 647 half position if we have. Sold over here, just because it's a little bit of stalling with the tape. So we have only one fourth left position. And we hold that for basically the uh, 650, right? Only because we have this big liquidity, you can see Bruce that it's basically double rejecting over here. So now I can trail with the 9MA, uh, the 646, 9MA that on my chart is this uh, dotted, I would say pink, purple, okay? Flatten over here. Let's see, it can give a little bit more wiggle room. We still have that uh, 645 and 70 level of support. So for me, it's always important to sell into strength. You could see, never sell into weakness, unless I'm not doing something wrong. Curling down, 646 support, seems pretty weak. Don't like it flattening out over here. So the point traders is um, at this level, let's see if uh, change drawings, okay. At this level, and this is a strategy that I play often. Uh, let's put this, this level over here, I wanted to long because we had this uh, curl with an IMA. 
we're looking for a pullback and more push to the upside. And still we can have that push above 648, right? But then you see over here, I sell over here just before that resistance to pay myself was at least two R. And then I saw over here, the first soak came back down. And before we have this big rejection where I would probably have sold down here, I sold it up here, all right? So taking the majority of profits in this area. And then when it went down, trailing before the, the break even. All right, I think let's see my bear over here, my mother, professional traders is alerting me of a possible re-add of the, the setup we can have on Litsy. So we're managing like four accounts together on different brokers. And now we can look for another, okay, just missed it. <laughs> just missed it, sorry traders. She was alerting me of this 415 breakdown. Sorry for this, a little bit too late. As I said, I'm short 425, 429 on uh, uh, several accounts, but only have size for now. And we're holding for the main target. When we have these faders on gap and crap, I'm looking for 385, okay? So today is a little bit like this for me. Uh, more focus all morning on Tesla. I had uh, four trades, four wins. And I like to, to keep one or two big cap stocks or options. Uh, my bear trades option next to me. Um, and uh, one of the futures, generally, yes. Yes, because it's very simple to trade it with the J lines. Uh, you see over here, we had the perfect sell on Tesla, right? Right before the dump. And instead, um, on the small caps, I had only one main uh, stock this morning. BPR was the second one, but as I said, I missed it. So I'm not the chaser, I missed the main A plus setup, not going to trade it. Uh, so why was a setup over here on, uh, on Litsy? As I said before, this stock has history of fading. This stock is a huge amount of overhead resistance. If you're a beginner, you don't know what is an overhead resistance means that above the level of the open of today, we have a huge amount of volume trading in the past. So for example, over here at 450 till 556, we have traded a day 220 million volume means that today on this fluff news, I believe this was a license agreement or agreement with another company or distribution agreement, same as VPR. They are fluff news, right? So if I see that a huge amount of longer sellers are, are trapped and I see early sellers, you can see over here right away at 735, we went below VWAP and started to reject what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my pedal on the short side, All right? Bruce, make any sense what I'm saying? Or I drank too much coffee tomorrow today. <laughs> All right, so I'm just looking for another possible setup. Oh, Both sorry, sorry, Joseph. Uh, I I was uh, muted there. Um, uh, no, excellent stuff. I, I love that doubled rejection at the top there. And you decided that uh, if it's not going to go through, you're going to take your profits because you're, you're looking for it to go down. Oh, you um, on Tesla. Yeah, that was, that was beautiful. Yeah, I mean, I'm still like looking for a long on today on Tesla. I don't believe we are going to fade more until we're holding that level of hourly J line. So until I, I have my, I would say, uh, systematic system over here that this level 642 holds and i want to see a close above this level but at the same time we have to trade with bookmap the current price action all right so for example what i'm looking right now if over here right now we have another push 648 breaks consolidates above then i will look for again for another possible scalp long trade and these scalp long trades i call them scalp because you may enter for 50 cents and if i don't have my sell if i don't have my stop loss I may stay in for maybe all day and that will become even a swing. So I call swings, I call them scalp trades, but it's not only scalping. I like to take half profit, two, three R, so pay myself right away, reduce my risk and then stress free. So I think that's my personal way to, to have a very solid risk-free uh, setup when, when I trade these high, high quality uh, scenarios. Yeah, that's another thing I, I keep, I've, I've mentioned this before, um, and I don't, I don't want to um, uh, really interrupt you too much here, but 
I really like the way that you have you studied a, a certain setup and you are looking for it to work immediately. If it does not work immediately, something's wrong and you'll look again uh, later when it looks good. Uh, but uh, this will control your risk very, very well so that uh, uh, you know, you'll have very small losses. Exactly. Yesterday, Bruce had an interview with uh, a bookmap trader. Okay, so you will be happy with this. His, uh, his name is Steve, six-figure trader for, for the year. Uh, Matt's very, very good friend of mine. And he was saying the same thing that he said. If the trade doesn't work, you don't have to stay in and pray and hold, you know, just simply have step out, take your loss, because if you stay in, you may get like a huge loss. Does It's not worth it. And then you have other possibilities, maybe not the same day, maybe the day after, the day after. So we don't have like to, you know, to keep fighting, being stubborn. That's, I would, I would say is one of the worst, uh, the worst scenario that brings you to huge losses. Yeah, yeah, agreed. Um, and uh, uh, also, it it really makes you uh, like hone your strategy. Like uh, you're looking for something very specific, and it should work. Uh, it's higher probability because you've studied it, uh, and um, uh, you know you um, uh, become an expert at it. Exactly. Exactly. I'm looking over here at. Um... Let's see, it's consolidating on the support. Um, for the, the traders that don't know and you see all these lines, these are only FIB levels, okay? It's nothing crazy. Um, if you want to study the code of Fibonacci is good, even the story, you may uh, learn something interesting for your personal knowledge. Why do you need to know that 23, uh, 38, 50, 61.8, uh, 70, uh, sorry, um, 71. Uh, I use basically not the 77 or the 78. I use the 71 over here. And then I use the 88. I like for uh, precise reason. And then you can see over here the uh, pre-market high. So this is just my indicator over here that gives me those levels, the, the 78, the 70, uh, the 61, 50, 38, and 23. Um, when I'm looking at these levels, I start looking for dips to buy or uh, rejection to short, okay? So I'm looking for precise patterns that can help me uh, take the momentum trades, okay? So momentum means where we have a fast move in a short time and with high volume. So right now, nothing to do on Litsy. I won't continue to, to look at this because I believe it's only like loss of time. If you're short, hold your position. At least I'm holding my position. And over here, we have the breakout. Okay, you see, always have your stocks next to you. This is a pretty decent breakout. Uh, let's see the volume over here, explosion of volume, right? We are trading a $650 stock and we have 200K volume on that bar of the breakout. Look over here, perfect pattern of absorbing the ass, but uh, I see it as still stronger. The volume they wanna wants to hold this for the long term, and we have buyers, right? So this is the sixty fifty dollar mark. Let's look together. My bear. Yes. So first attached and coming down. Mm -hmm. And when you are in a position, by now I'm not, but even this morning was running for the same stock, three positions at the same time. Once you set your stop, once you know your targets, it has to be a stress-free job. And I tell you because I had huge amount of anxiety uh, in the past. Uh, and even if things were going good, I was like carrying too much stress from an emotion from a position. Uh, try to detach yourself, freedom yourself a little bit, free yourself a little bit from from the money, uh, from the trade itself. Uh, honor your stop losses. Trust your system if you have that tested. Trust your stats, and really free yourself from trade. Don't be like too much anxious. All right. Otherwise, you'll be hand up with me, like me, uh, right here um anxiety problems now now i'm fine but that's that's what you don't have to do so i'm telling you by experience 
Okay, yeah, so it's not the ratio. Uh, also, also, that 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 uh, you know, just to add to um, uh, what you just what you just mentioned, uh, the stress free and you know, knowing and trusting your setups um, allows you to do that. So if it doesn't work immediately, and you know, take this take the small loss and look for it again. The um, uh, talk about building confidence. You know, uh, now you you know your strategy works. So uh, that's a, a really nice way to go, I think. Absolutely. Okay, traders, look what we have over here. This morning, I missed two shorts A plus on the DPR for me. Now we are reversing actually above the VWAP over here. And again, we are stuffing and, and selling. Okay. This is a very interesting day for the morning. So uh, look over here. Look what we have. This is a pennant again. Okay. So when you have a, this kind of pennant, means higher lows, lower highs. We're going to have a direction soon. And you don't need to trade all these wiggles up and down over here. You don't need to trade all this nonsense. Wait always to have short strapped in order to long, to have long strapped in order to short. There are many variables. Not there. Yes. Uh, please go here, the first one, second one. Over here is almost curling. And uh, we're, we're a little jealous or envious of your uh, trading floor there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's nice to have two, two eyes, especially I like to have, I'm testing some, some stuff, um, uh, Bruce, on, on some very small accounts. So like uh, indicators, uh, strategies, and then I like to have a help from, from this because too much to, to manage by myself if I day trade, Surely, swing trade is much easier, but if you day trade is much uh, much harder to do this all only to get only by yourself. So look at this formation traders over here on VDPR. Each time we go above VWAP, we stuff and we sold. This is the first time we go above VWAP and we hold. Okay, so this is the first thing that you have to look right now. So 10:48 over here. Let's curl a little bit. I'm looking for a long over here. I'm not looking too short, okay? We have long trap all morning below the web, all right? So until I don't see this fail of the 10 buck, 980 over here, I'm not going to short this. Okay, fail right away over here, the VWAP, you see it? And you see from where? From the rejection of this heat map. Nice over here to see this, okay? You see it, first fake breakout, first rejection, second rejection, sorry. You see it? Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me when this detects. Remember it's above this. Yeah. So it's still deciding over here, VDPR, what it wants to do. This was the first. Mm. This is the second. Very interesting uh, tape over here, traders. Very interesting tape. This is a stock. Don't undervalue it. This is a stock that can trade 200 million a day. Today, I only traded 8 million over here. And that's a breakdown of 1015. You see this is a level over here. Again, not looking to trade this nonsense over here. You have to have a clear plan. My clear plan is or a stuff above this level or looking for a long on the curl with the VWAP or J lines or looking for the fade below 980, 10 bucks and shorting pops. Until that, I'm not going to do anything else.
also uh, why I said this morning we had an A plus setup over here to short. Uh, I'm going to show you what I mean. You see over here, Trader, this morning when we open, Bruce, look, this example over here was simply perfect because I was short bias on this, being that we have overhead resistance, being that this likes to fade. And then it popped above VWAP, went right away to that FIB level 1095. See it over here, FIB 95. And then, boom, huge heat map over here. Uh, we had a big a resistance, double top, failed. This is how to use book map. Yeah, beautiful move into that lower liquidity there. Yeah. Beautiful. Blitz is still fading over here. So near the breakdown traders, start looking at Blitz for a breakdown because it's doing a distribution pattern. So you can see totally clear how we have lower lows, lower high, lower high, sorry, over here. Sell is the 412. This is a distribution pattern, right? So you see the same lows, lower highs. I love this pattern for a continuation. We're gonna have this uh, target 380 today hit. So no buyers over here, reason to stay in. When we start getting three, four, five bars bouncing and having always lower highs and having the same lows, prepare for a wash. Somebody refilled at 410. Side bars over here. Yeah. Let's look at Tesla again. So Tesla still. Okay, over here we have a fake break of the 650. So you can see traders, we had a fake breakout right now for of the 650. First down here. Let's look at Tesla. Mm. Still lateral Tesla, nothing for now. BPR, lateral again, nothing. Leads over here, imminent breakdown, I would say.
start in a position to add even till 420. On the short side, there's no reason why we shouldn't break over here. The 410 and going to that 380. Mm -hmm. But it's on the yeah. 90 oh, yeah. okay. and on the J lines. Mm -hmm. VPR over here in the main support at 10. Careful that support over there. Start looking over here, traders. VPR 997. 998, 97, 98. When I see this possible breakdown, okay, that's it. Some fast wash. The next fib level, if you break 980, we're gonna go 950, 960. Okay, so start watching this. Okay, break 980, we're gonna go probably 960, 950. The reason why we have the fail over here, you see just below the 10, and right away we put a heat map, we put sellers in the 10. So that confirmed me strength on the short side, more supply versus demand. It's always about supply, demand, supply, demand. And then you have to look, okay, it's continuing the fade. But what do we have over here? So we have a, a breakdown of this um, uh, trend line, which actually is not really precise how it, uh, trace it, trace it. So we're looking for more and wine, ideally to this 940, 950. No buyers, Tesla, no buyers, uh, sorry, no buyers, VPR over here. All right, let's see again the test of this 410. If this 410 will go, it will be too fast to jump in, probably. You're going to have the 401. Okay, like over here, you see it happening. So you can jump in, like in the bid, still early. 409, ask. See if we can get that fill.
I'm gonna break the support. The majority of the time traders, these wash breakdowns happen together with wash. This time didn't. Very slow action over here. I'm gonna get out break even. Much better looking at Tesla right now. So at this point, what do you have to do when you're trading and nothing is moving or nothing is setting up for an A plus setup trade? Don't trade. Uh, use always a plan, have always a plan, honor your stop losses. Uh, try to avoid uh, to trade between 11.30 till 1, 1 1.30 p.m. Uh, generally, it's really well, uh, where you will fight the majority of the algos, big traders, institutions go away. Um, try to uh, use the first hour, first hour and a half for trading purposes uh, to have your executions. And then after 1.30 p.m. when the big traders come back. Because you will see basically that you have to trade with momentum, with the direction, with trend. If, if trend following surely is your, your strategy. I like to trade trend following. So for example, long, I will be buying dips. Uh, as for example, we've seen before on, uh, on Tesla, that's a trend following. So I, I was buying uh, dips. If I'm instead looking for a reversal, I will short tops, buy dips and vice versa. So even uh, I like to take uh, the reversals. Um, don't fight trading, don't over trade. And especially um, be satisfied of your trading day because often, for example, you will have your set goal, let's say, you know, 1K or 5K or 200 bucks, whatever that is. And you will continue to trade only because you didn't reach that goal. And then you will end up like losing what you did, ending up the day red, being frustrated, and then like, you know, uh, beating yourself down. It's not like that. Respect the plan. And don't over trade, the most important thing. <clears throat> okay, so Tesla, until I have the support, okay, what I'm looking to trade, uh, what I'm looking when I'm trading Tesla or big caps. If I'm over here, 10, 50, 11 o'clock, unless I have a very good setup, I'm not going to trade Tesla. What I mean by setup, I want to see a dip on the J lines and a curl. Okay, so a cut pattern exactly on this level with bookmap support. Otherwise, I won't be trading this before we're looking at VVPR. And as this stock is holding uh, this blue level, again, J lines, right? You see how many times I can buy the dips, sell tops, buy dips, sell tops, buy dips. And over here still we don't have the top so is uh, forming a wedge means a direction over here still has to find okay let's see the reason why i didn't want to add 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 is because when i have this breakdown usually on a breakdown we have big washes and once i saw this not giving that wash that generally gives I said, okay, probably they're gonna pop. Reason why to take out break even, then we'll revisit later. It's still a short for the day, yes. If we're gonna have this volume below, I believe 200K per minute, but it's still a short, right? So I'm still looking for other possible 
ways to recycle the shares. So something is not working as you want, get out, okay? Don't be stubborn. The market's right, not you. Uh, Joseph, let's see if uh, you don't really uh, see much uh, much happening here. I mean, we've almost been going an hour. Um, mm -hmm. If uh, if you want to wrap it up here, I mean, we weren't really looking for a whole lot to to um, unfold uh, uh, here right before Christmas. Um, so uh, uh, up to you. Okay, let's uh, let's look the other. Let's see if we can have a little bit more on Tesla. Otherwise, if we can wrap it up. What do you think, uh, Bruce? Yeah, sounds great. Okay, traders, just to explain you over here a further thing. So this is a setup that you have to look at. When you have, uh, and use it not only on a one minute chart, use it also on a three and five minute chart. So always see multi time frames. When you have, for example, on the stock, you see this uh, higher high, okay? And on the, uh, on the volume over here, you see lower highs, all right? That means divergence. All right, so divergence over here is over here, hires, higher highs. Over here you have your lower highs. This means divergence, which often is a reversal signal. Don't be, don't anticipate, okay? Because you can have other continuation of the higher highs and lower lows. Don't anticipate. Start looking instead for or stuffs or fake breakouts or trend line break and rejection. Okay, those are generally the three uh, set of that I put in conjunction with uh, divergence, as can be an anticipation of a trend reversal. I think it's very important that you uh, look at this. Uh, you can use it on small caps, you can use this on big caps. Uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I saw this morning on FRSX. Maybe I'm mistaken. <laughs> but, yeah, we don't have it. But start looking for these, uh, the, the, the place that I just uh, showed you on, uh, on Tesla. All right, so... If Bruce is over here, we can wrap it up. Uh, I would like to, to say thanks to Bruce. Uh, we had a great year together to book map. Uh, looking for the new year to, to trade more with you traders. Um, Bruce will update you with the uh, new further uh, lessons uh, trading that we will have. Uh, thank you in the meantime. Bruce, thank you very much. You over here. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much, Joseph. Uh, yeah, it's been been uh, really great, uh, a real pleasure. Um, and um, uh, you know, uh, continue on in, into the new year. Happy holiday, traders! If you need help, reach out to me or to Bruce. Thank you very much, and uh, happy holidays. Okay. All right. Goodbye, everybody. Take care.